IPAs came about when the English brewers were beginning to send their pale ales over to the English people that were colonizing India. And what happened is that they knew that hops was a preservative and they thought maybe the beer would last longer and actually make the voyage all the way to India if they threw in more hops. So by, you know, English people in India wanting some of, you know, beer that was made the way that they were used to it, we came up, they came up with this whole new style that wound up being called the India Pale Ale. So it was specifically made for that purpose, but it gradually became more and more popular in England itself. And I guess you could say it really took off in America and the American craft beer scene. Right now, you know, there are many brewers all over the world that are trying to duplicate, you know, what is called, you know, the American IPA or more specifically sometimes the West Coast IPA. And again, those are styles of, you know, pale ales that have been extremely high hopped. And, you know, there are still English IPAs and, you know, they just, tend to take on the flavor profiles of English hops, which tend to be, you know, less, you know, kind of less overall than the American hops and specifically the West Coast hops. So there's also, you know, then of course the American IPA, which is the, you know, very popular style of beer right now. And in addition to the American IPA, there's also the Imperial IPA, which is a much more highly hopped version of either the English or the American IPA. So you're going to get a lot more hops, um, and sometimes you'll get malt to come and you know support it as its backbone. So you're not just you know drinking straight hops. You know you'll you know you'll always have some balancing malt in there. Although there is some discussion about you know do we like a balanced IPA or an unbalanced IPA? And again, this is one of the fun things about craft beer is that you'll find a lot of people who can fall on many different sides of an issue. So those are some thoughts about how IPAs came into being and also thoughts about where they are now and perhaps even where they're going with brewers all over the world trying to come up with their own version of the IPA. Mm -hmm.